Steve Lukacs collected animals for nearly 40 years. At the moment, I've got 60 animals. And it's had a detrimental effect on his life. I live by myself, I'm unattached, I don't have a girlfriend, don't have a wife. Steve's last relationship ended when his animal obsession got out of hand. The second marriage broke down through all the stress, basically, it was difficult. Um, and when basically I got left alone with all the animals. And now, that's my life. I haven't got time for a relationship. It's not the most important thing. The most important thing to me is looking after these. To me, this is the worst job. feeling when you want to scream. I won't be long, baby. Many of the animals Steve owns can't be kept in the same space, so Steve is forced to use every corner of his home to keep them apart. We've got Pink and Floyd, the African grey parrots, Diamond the barn owl, this is roly-poly, and we've also got snakes in here. This here is Zoltar. This is Zeus. He's a platinum fox. That there's Zante. Oh, this is little Lola. This is my bedroom. Or should I say, me flower the meerkat's boudoir. Steve got hooked on animals at the tender age of seven. I've always had a look for animals. I used to watch wildlife programs. I used to get upset when people used to harm them. I used to want to be able to do something for them. I used to want to take every single animal under my wing and help it, and that's never changed. And he's dedicated his life to his obsession. I honestly believe that my purpose is to help these animals make a better future for them. I don't think that is an addiction. I think that's caring. I think that is what humanity should be. I can't understand anybody that doesn't want to care for animals. I don't understand people that want to harm them. Last but not least, come on. And Steve's compulsion to care has no limits. One day you look and think, oh my God, that 60s become that nice? 80, which I'm sure will happen. No, I, um, I can't say no. Yeah, this one here's a new arrival, by the way. Yet another mouth to feed. The trouble is, Steve can no longer afford to keep up his habit. I'm literally counting pennies every day. Counting pennies, working for pennies, and every penny goes straight to the animal. It's, yeah, it's, it's extortionate. It really, really is. I mean, you can be looking at close to a grand a month, especially if there's vet bills thrown in. And then I'm struggling and I'm <laughs> borrowing off my mother. I'm just... But however much they cost, Steve's adamant no one is leaving. Regardless of money, finance, whatever. Sell the last shirt on me back to feed them. Virtually eaten out of house and home by his 60 animals, Steve Lukacs' life is a far cry from what it once was. When I was in my early 20s, I was at Holiday Park as a comedy magician. I had some animals in my caravan, and I was told I had to get rid of them because animals weren't allowed on the site, which is why I lied and said they were in the act. And the act basically caught on. The height of the career was based, I suppose, in a way, Britain's Got Talent. That was our first taste of fame as such. But at the time, I thought, wow, this is it, we've made it. Eventually, the showbiz spotlight went out. The work dried up, and his wife left him and the animals for good. He is molten like mad. There you go. Let's kiss. Steve and his animals are still in a kind of show business. And he's performing tonight. Oh, good boy. I do a free animal interactive show uh, for the holy makers. Plus, of course, it, uh, it also educates the kids about animals, which is the main thing. Don't get paid, but what they do is they uh, tend to put donations in the buckets at the end. I sometimes leave there feeling a bit, uh, simply because it is so quiet. The worst I've ever taken, I think I probably took about eight pound once, uh, which I'd spent more than that on petrol getting there and back. Looks like a play school with not many kids there. Uh... Let's get in 
with this one, isn't it? <laughs> oh dear. Hi, kids! Everybody do what I do after three. One, two, three. Whoa! So everybody do what I do. Go, whoa! Steve hopes his act will teach kids to be more compassionate oh towards kids, animals. Try again. I'm joking. Oh, bless him. It's all right. But it's not working out too well. Well, we got one, two, three, four. <laughs> 20 quid, give or take five, five, ten p. Yeah, so just under 20 quid. Unless things improve, Steve will need to find a new way to fund his obsession, else he faces losing his animals for good. With 60 animals dependent on him, a career going nowhere and facing financial disaster, Steve Lukox hit rock bottom. I'd love to be earning enough to pay tax. Absolutely love it, but... Uh... Yeah, unless you can get this lot to live on thin air, I've got no chance. <laughs> HM Revenue and Customs. Yeah. It's a uh, tax credits renewal. I've gone through uh, the usual formula with identification. Now they're going to answer it in a moment. Or at least they will go into ten minutes ago. Nope. Still no answer. Well, it's a nice half hour phone bill for nothing. My finances are terrible. It's absolutely awful. I uh, rely mainly on kids' birthday parties at the weekend, but people, you know, haven't got the money. So though weekends, my diary's looking busy, by the time you've paid the petrol, and then the insurance and all the rest of it, the animals literally eat everything else. It's trying to find rent and stuff like that is impossible. If anything happens with one of the animals, it's vet bills, the cost of fortune. Um, I've got to find a way of trying to make more money. Out of options and facing the unthinkable scenario of giving up his animals, Steve turns to the only thing he knows, show business. Come with us to the world of hope, a world where man and animal can live together in peace and harmony. A world where there is no hunting, no cruelty, no dog fighting, no fox hunting. A world of animal chic, 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 chic. Are you there? Yeah, sorry. Steve's putting the last of his savings into a brand new make or break show called Animal Geek. At the beginning of time, the Native American Indian used to worship animals. The buffalo and the eagle were sacred. The symbol of the curled serpent was placed on rocks and plants to protect the animals from the evil spirit and from the white man that used to cut down their trees and take their home. Oh, next thing I had to make a stand for it as well. This tree trunk here I had made, and as you can see, it's got little doors on it. I've still got to work out how to open them, but basically there's an animal inside. Obviously I wouldn't put a big animal in there because it would be cruel. I want something that can go in there and walk about and be happy whilst it's there. Uh, and the idea is at certain points when I open this, it'll jump out and come up for a cuddle. Hi, Mum. Why are they cutting all the trees down? Where have the animals gone? When there's no trees, where are, we gonna, where are they going to live? What about the raccoon? The meerkats? The foxes? <laughs> there's still a lot of work to do for it, but at least I've made a start. With everything on the line for Steve, the pressure's showing. That's one of the hardest parts about doing this. It is something really close to my heart. Steve's handing out flyers with Mo the Raccoon in a desperate attempt to attract an audience to tonight's premiere of Animal Geek. Hello. I love you too. Oh, get out of my mouth. <laughs> ah. Somebody says it was a badger. <laughs> <laughs> badger, you daft kid. <laughs> you said it was a badger, no? <laughs> it looks like a badger. <laughs> Can I give you one of these? I actually do private parties as well, but it educates kids. I've got a new show opening tonight, 
Can I give you one of these? I've got a new show. Oh, hey, love. Can I give you one of these? Okay. You've got a show opening tonight. No, you mate. Ah, oh, it's a baby raccoon. Yeah, little baby raccoon. She's rescued. Ah, yeah. she's lovely. She's called. She's called Mo. What the people of Blythe don't know is that Mo and her 59 friends' future may well depend on them. In the 40 years Steve Lukox collected animals, he's never had a day quite as important as this one. The show's got to work. Now we've sold boats, it's got to. Because uh, I need more work, I need the money to feed them. If the show doesn't go down well, it could spell the end for Steve's lifelong commitment to his animals. Without the animals, I wouldn't have a reason to get up in the morning. Worst case scenario, I'll get thrown out of the house. I'll lose the animals. That is not going to happen. I won't let it happen. But the fantastic Steve Lukog and his hammer machine live on this very stage in just a few moments' time. I do believe that if there's a purpose in life, then my purpose is to help all animals. And for as long as I live, I will continue doing that. After years of performing in front of one man and his dog, Steve's desperate for a good turnout. Please give a massive, sadly may warm well welcome to the main man himself, Mr. Steve Lukak. Come with us to the world of hope, a world where there is no killing, no scientific animal experiments. Oh. Life is so awful. Mother Earth is getting stronger than ever now and is calling to you, my children, for help. So look deeply into yourselves and then into the animals around you. Allow your love to grow. Steve's publicity drive has worked. It's a full house. You children are the next generation. You can change the laws. You can change the rules. You are the hope for all these animals. I absolutely loved the show. It was really, really exciting, and my son had an absolutely great time. And it was a great story to give the children about the future. There you go, sweetheart. Everyone say goodbye to little Mo. We thought it was a really good message because people would um, kind of try to help the animals. I think it was a good message because it intrigued me to help animals when I was older. It's amazing. It's uh, that's brilliant. I'm really pleased with how it works. Looking forward to a better future. That's what it's all about. With a hit show in his hands, Steve can earn the money he needs to keep his animals and no doubt increases collection too. I'm happier than I've been for ages. It's brilliant. Really, really great. Um, everybody's got their own genders. Everybody's got their own life. And this is my life. And it's hard. It's difficult. Animals don't live as long as us, so it can be heartbreaking. <laughs> but it's a life I've chosen, and it's a life I'm going to stick with. So long as an animal needs help, I'm going to help them.